everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be my friday big clean and what i get up to to try and get ready for the weekend so if you want to see what i do then keep watching so welcome back i hope you're all doing okay today i will normally share on my instagram and um, which i'll leave the link down below for you if you want um i always share on a friday like what i'm getting up to like i always call it like my friday big clean because just for the way our days work out this is a day where i'm at home with stan and the dog obviously bill and daisy are at school and mark's working in our office it's not one of my strict work days although i do tend to sometimes have to nip in and do work in between so it just works for us that i will do a big clean restock the fridge get everywhere ready for the weekend on a friday um and it fits really nicely you could watch this and then you could do a similar thing on a different day that suits you it doesn't have to be a friday it just so happens to be that for us and this is what I get up to essentially so it's about quarter to nine Mark's just taking the kids to school I'm in just some leggings and a t-shirt and a sports bra and I look a bit scruffy but that's okay because I like to do everything get it all done I do a workout at the end of it and then I go and get showered and like get ready for the weekend that way it just works out better for me because I find that when you're doing a bit clean you do get a bit grubby and sweaty don't you um this video is also in partnership with cherries i'll be showing you an order that i received earlier this morning um and showing you all the bits and bobs that i picked up as well um just so you know but without any further ado i'm going to show you how i start the day which is usually with a list so i like to write a list because it does keep me organized especially when i've got a lot on sometimes i'll have like work job that i need to do and fit into this day or specific jobs that i know i'll forget otherwise plus i really just like ticking it off so this is today's list and these are some past ones that i've done before just to show you like it's just a habit for me but i find it really effective because that sensation when i look at the um list at the end of the day and it's all done is amazing so this is today's list and basically we've got clean fridge tidy cupboards i try and organize it into chunks um specific to what area of the house i'm going to be working in so i'm going to clean the fridge and tidy the cupboards in the kitchen this morning by tidy i mean just give them like a bit of a reorganize because you know when you chuck things in in the middle of the week when you're in a rush that kind of thing got grocery order coming so i need to film that and then put all the food away gonna clean the downstairs loo wash our bedding today i never do all the bedding all of them on one day because i find it gets too overwhelming no one wants to be making five beds um you know at the end of the day because bill's got a bunk bed as well so i do like one at a time or two at a time just to make it a little bit easier so i will normally do hours i will do stan and daisies together and then i will do bill's bunk beds together because it feels like it's chunked out nicely i've also got a load of like dark and colors that i need to put on as well and get those all put away and get the bed made um I always polish downstairs and like dust and everything. Windows, I always wipe those around because we've got a dog and a kid and they get grimy quite quickly. And then I give everywhere a hoover. And then I do those same jobs upstairs, um, including hoovering the stairs in that section as well. Um, I like to clean the bathroom and clean the ensuite as well. And I do like an extra two jobs that sometimes I forget, which is emptying the bins and restocking the loo roll in there. And I'll probably have to do the same with loo roll in the downstairs loo. Then just random little jobs again that I'll forget sometimes, but they make me feel better. Like obviously I need to water all my plants. Uh, I like to light some candles so everywhere it smells nice. I need to bath the kids. I always write this down because it's like the last thing that I do before I can sit down on a Friday and relax. So I always write it down because it feels like celebratory. And like I'll bath them and they will get like a little bowl of sweets on a Friday night and we'll stick a movie on and that is generally how it goes. And then I've got workout here as well. So I normally do that at the end of my cleaning session and yeah that is my list so i'm gonna get it done basically <laughs> so one of the things that i will always start with any day really is getting a wash laid on because then it can be done and out of the way and sorted that day so i'm sticking the laundry in here and then the dog's food arrived now he is raw fed so we have to try and fit all of this in the freezer and it's a bit like freezer tetris it does take a while but it is worth it for him so i got that done so it didn't thaw too much gave him a fuss and then i cracked on with giving the kitchen a quick clean and then cleaning out our fridge i do this every week just to keep on top of it so i don't have to do a big deep clean and then me and stan started bringing in our shopping and then we filmed grocery haul and then started putting that away he really really likes to help me 
me and I encourage that because we're a team in this family and that's really something that we try and live by with the kids. Then once that was done, I cracked on with his lunch. So we had a busy morning really. There were a few bits that I didn't film like cattering through the dentist. I had some work emails to do. I played with Stan, I fussed him, um, but I'm trying to focus on cleaning here for you or any like jobs or routines that I have to do on a Friday in general. So this is his lunch. He just got like a sandwich and some fruit and veg, a little muffin and a yogurt. It has, are you happy? And then while he is eating, I will focus on jobs that I can do around him so that I know he's safe and happy and well. So I'm cleaning the downstairs toilet, which is off our kitchen anyway, so I can still see him. And just giving that all a wipe down. There was a bit of a stubborn stain around the plug hole, so I used my sonic scrubber to get that out and it worked a dream. These are really good, by the way, they're worth the hype. Then I clean the toilet with a different colored cloth just to separate the germs and things like that. And then I stocked up on toilet roll in the the downstairs toilet too we probably go through toilet roll in this toilet quicker than any other because the kids are always in and out of there is anyone else's family like that or is it just ours because i feel like we go through it so quickly but anyway i give everywhere a spritz of air freshener and then close the door and that is one area done and now i'm moving on to just watering our plants while he's finishing off his lunch uh, again they're all in the same room and it's just a job that i always like try and get done every week because i'm not a very good plant mum, but i do try so it's now 12 o'clock and I thought it would be a good chance to have a brew break because I've just been running on hardly anything this morning. So now with cherries, I've worked with them in the past. You'll probably be able to find my previous haul uh, in my videos. I'll also leave it linked down below if you want to see a little bit more. Uh, but they're basically like a big discount store but online. So they have an app which is fantastic and I also have a discount code for you which I'll pop on screen now. I've got one for new customers and one for existing customers so you can use that if you you want to get a few bits yourself you just like don't want to go out anywhere and you can just get it delivered to your house which is quite convenient um so i've worked with them in the past obviously and i've worked with them today but i've also made orders in between i've got a few favorite things that i like to buy um i will show you what i have picked up so i'm going to pick you up now and take you over there and show you my little haul so as you can see i've got some cleaning bits i will always most of the time buy cleaning stuff from places like cherries because it's just more affordable for me i've got a few bits at the back there for the kids for like summer um i've got a few household items and then some food over here at the end just bits that i've not seen for ages or don't normally see in the supermarket which i always find quite fun so let's start over here so at the back here i picked up the kids a water gun each um for fun in the garden when hopefully fingers crossed it warms up so they're all different colors and they can choose which one they like i feel like bill will go for that one stan will go for that one and daisy will go for the one at the bottom there and then i also got this i just thought this would be brilliant it's a game it's called hot potato and you pass the potato as quickly as possible to ensure you don't get soaked and you fill it basically with water balloons and he explodes on you if and it's got a timer and i just thought that would be so fun to play in the garden i mean what a great little game so i picked those up as little treats and then this is all my cleaning stuff so i picked up a fabulosa i'm obsessed with this stuff um and zaflora as well so this is the electrify scent i have the sif power and shine this is absolutely fantastic um i run out of these recently so when i saw the on cherries this one and this one over here which i'll show you in a sec i picked them up again i find these great for stubborn marks in like bathrooms in particular and they're also antibacteria is great on like quartz as well um and the sif cream is great on quartz if you've got any marks but also you know bath toys when you play like kids play with them in the bath they can mark the tub a lot of the time this with a little sponge or a cloth will get all of those toy marks off if i have any marks upstairs later when i'm cleaning the bath i will show you but it's brilliant and this is the pink flower scent so it smells really nice um great little like duo for cleaning stubborn stuff i find i picked up two surf these are my favorite i don't think i've ever had this one before it's wild flowers and morning dew and then i've also got wild thing you made my heart thing um these are fantastic they smell so good and i just thought i would pick those up and stock up on them because they were a decent price and then i've also got some lenore fresh and then here i've got some like color control like sheets to start running in washes you know like with new clothes and things like that and then I got these air wicks. I love these for like keeping the house smelling like quite fresh. Um, we don't have any issues with like the dog or the cat or the kids with these. And um, 
they smell beautiful and you know we do have dogs and cats and kids and the house does smell a bit doggy catty and kitty sometimes so this just helps to freshen them up so i've got beach escapes which is maui mango splash uh, i had this one which is what one is this linen in the air and then finally i've got this one which is mystical garden so i might plug a few of these in today because i'm really excited by them and um, then over here we have household bits so this little bowl is fab for like nibbles and dip or like popcorn and sweets for like movie nights and things like that it was really affordable i quite like the fun pink color so i picked that up it's great for like hopefully we'll have kids around again like play dates with friends and stuff now people can come back in the house so i'm really looking forward to using that i have these bacon sheets i've bought these a few times from cherries now they're so good they're pre-cut um so they're just great to grab and when we do baking or we you know like puff pastry pinwheels i use those a lot um see so these are really good i can really recommend these i have two uh, shower gels i've got cotton clouds with white cashmere and polynesian Par paradise and sweet peony i love these imperial leather ones and they they smell amazing so i picked those up and then i got an exfoliating foot peel you'll remember if you watched my last cherries haul i picked up one of these and mark stole it so this one is for me because i am barefoot a lot i don't really like having hot feet so i definitely need one of these to sort my feet out i think um i saw these and i thought these were cute they're reusable ice cubes so i picked up a pack in um pink and a pack in blue and i thought these would be nice for the kids drinks in the summer and also you know if you're having like a cocktail for example and you don't want it too watered down aren't they handy and i like the fun colors so i picked those up i think they'll last really well as well and then i finally picked up some plasters for the kids uh because you can never really have enough plasters when you've got children so that's those and then finally foodie bits excuse my washing machine in the background it's nearly coming to an end so you might be able to hear it so i've got two bags of roosters i don't always find these in supermarkets but when i find them in places like cherries i'm always so excited because they are my favorite crisp and bill loves them as well so i picked up two bags of those and then over here we have do you remember these when i was a kid i remember having these they are runts and they are little mini like candy shaped like fruit and that are the tiny and i think they're american in fact i'm pretty sure they're from the usa which is so cool because you can't always buy things like this over here but i remember having them as a kid and they don't exist over here anymore so i picked those up because i thought the kids would love to try them i also speaking of the kids got them some cookie bites and some finny cinema mix so later on when they have their friday night like treat bowl and a movie we will be putting a few of these in their bowls i think as a treat so that's exciting for them chili crackers i love these if you've never tried these before they're great you can get them from health food shops and some supermarkets but when i found them on cherries i had to pick them up because they're amazing they've got a kick to them but they're really really good and then at the back here bubble gum i actually picked this up for bill because he's really intrigued by bubble gum but they don't make it as much i find like they used to like it was everywhere when i was a kid but it isn't so much anymore and he wanted to try a proper one that he could really blow bubbles with so we're hoping that this will do the trick i got some of the skinny syrup white chocolate because i thought i could try and make like a kinder bueno type um iced coffee like you can get from starbucks i thought maybe i could try and use this in a way because it's a white chocolate maca with a pump of hazelnut that you asked for i have hazelnut syrup already uh, but i don't have any white chocolate so i thought maybe i could mix this with my coffee add some milk ice and a pump of hazelnut and see see what it's like i'll report back so i'm happy with that got some skinny whips for me these are so good the mint and dark chocolate ones these are great if you just want like a light like treat snack type thing and then finally i got some unicorn fruit loops these are mainly for my daughter but the boys will have them too um because they love novelty cereal and i thought it would make her smile so that is all of my cherries haul and if you want to give it a go yourself i will leave all the links down below with the discount code but now i'm gonna put it all away and crack on with the cleaning so now it's time to put all of that away and just get everything into the right spot and then I will do a couple of little jobs as well like changing out these plugins and replacing the fairy liquid in our soap dispenser here that needs doing so any little jobs that I spot throughout the day I will try and get them done I'm a kind of do it see it girl. <laughs> 
So these are all my cleaning bits that I'm going to be using now. This is all to go upstairs. So I've got different cloths for different parts of like bathrooms and stuff. I always use blue for the loo. And then I have like one each for the sink in the bath and one each for the shower and the sink in the ensuite as well. Um, flash is what I use on like stuff that say isn't too stubborn. Um, this is anything that needs like antibacterial attention and then this is for like stubborn marks and stuff um and generally like i'll use that all around the house anyway this plug-in is from one of the ones from cherries that i'm going to put in near our bedroom and this is my sonic scrubber which is brilliant for any tough stains so i'm going to take that up with me as well and then these are what i'm going to be using now so i've got my window cleaner and this special window cleaning cloth got my um polish and air freshener if i need it i might not do though and then i'm going to give everywhere a hoover and polish and just to tidy up down here and then i will move on to upstairs now if only it was this easy hey <laughs> and this is just a time lapse of me going through the kitchen area so i dusted everywhere i've cleaned the bifolds i've hoovered and then i actually went and mopped as well because it really needed doing i'm just using my spray mop here with the method cleaner which smells amazing and then i move on to the living room and do the exact same thing if you can see like me and stan going in and out it's because we've been getting some toys to play with in the kitchen which is what we did afterwards we built a superhero tower and played with them for a bit and then i picked up where i left off and decided to do the hallway area which gets a lot of footfalls so there's always those bits on the floor and gets quite dusty and muddy and things like that so again I hoovered in here and also in the office around like Mark thankfully he wasn't on a work call at the time and then one thing that I always do is that I use an empty laundry basket to put everything from downstairs that should be upstairs in and then it's just easy to carry it all up so normally it'll go on the stairs like a random toothbrush why is that even down here and then it's just a lot easier for me to go around the house and add things to this basket and put them back in their right place and then I had to do the dreaded workout which I really didn't want to do at all but I try and do it every day because it's the one thing that I do for me so once that is done I then prepped the bathroom for a proper clean later so this bathroom gets a lot of traffic with the kids so I basically sprayed everything everywhere and left it to soak put some toilet cleaner in left that to soak and then I will deal with that afterwards because I'm running out of time and I very quickly need to get showered and get ready and go and do the school run so I've done the same here in the ensuite and I'm just ticking off that I've done certain things now and then it's time to go and get Daisy and Bill from school so obviously Stan comes with me and he is carrying the snacks for them I always take a snack with them for pickup because then they're not so hangry <laughs> so once we got home I spent time with the kids for a bit and then finished off my makeup because I hadn't had a chance to finish it earlier and then I just got on with some jobs that I still had left over so I hear I'm folding our bedding and the other wash load is now in the dryer as well ready to get nice and dry and hopefully I can put that away later on and then I move on to other things that need doing as a mum so I'm making their dinner they eat separately because Bill has jiu-jitsu on a Friday and and obviously like he needs to be nice and full and fed and ready to go so get that sorted they've had some chicken wraps and chips and some cucumbers tonight and then I am actually getting Bill's stuff ready here to go to his dad's so I have put in um, his school shoes a clean uniform for him I've washed his lunch box when he came home from school so I'm going to put that in his school bag and just get everything sorted this is a big priority of mine because I like to know that he has everything he needs before he goes to see his dad for the weekend i'm tired <laughs> it is now quarter past five and i still have to hoover upstairs and just give everywhere a dust and wipe down and put some laundry away and give the bathroom a quick clean their bathroom which i've left soaking because that's normally the bathroom that gets the dirtiest and then i've got a bathroom and then i can sit down with a very well deserved glass of wine and discuss what <laughs> take away i'm ordering with mark so mark is taking bill to jiu-jitsu now because that's their thing he takes the dog with him as well and walks him while uh, bill's having his lesson and i've got some sweets ready for later there's a bag for bill that he can take to his dad's with him so he's not left out and then i start on hoovering upstairs i hate doing the stairs i always dread it but then actually when i get going it doesn't take me too long at all and i'm just using a special attachment here on my shark hoover because it's fantastic and does a really good job of agitating the stairs and getting all the fur and bits up and stuff so 
once that is done i will then move on to doing similar to what i did downstairs in terms of doing the windows in everybody's bedroom polishing in everybody's bedroom neatening things up that need sorting uh, just helping them like tidy away they are quite good and we do encourage that they make their beds and keep their rooms tidy-ish because they have loads of toys in there and stuff but i always give them a help because like that's what being a mum is isn't it then once all that's done i will move on to the bathroom which obviously i've left soaking from earlier so all the dirt is a lot easier to get off now because it's quite a high traffic area so i will clean the toilet sink and the bath with different cloths so as not to spread any germs and i just give everywhere a thorough clean and wipe down they generally have baths so the tiles aren't too bad but the bath itself does get really really grubby then i'll rinse everything down so it's nice and clean and chemical free ready for them to have their bath so i'll stick the bath running and then i will quickly try and get a few jobs done while that's happening so here i am sorting through laundry my most hated job because it's never ending i wish it was this quick and then i will go through every room and give it a quick hoover uh, this is always the bit that i find the hardest to be honest because i'm so tired but it's worth it i will then bath the kids and then once they were all bath and ready for bed they came and helped me <laughs> make our bedroom and finish off in there so let's see what time it is actually because um i've literally just finished so it's eight minutes to seven um bill came home from jiu-jitsu i've got his stuff in the wash um the little two have got the little bowls of sweeties and they're in the front room watching the lion king because that's what they've requested we let them stay up late on a friday night because why not it's fun um and obviously bill's gone to his dad's now um so i've not like filmed all of that obviously but because i wanted to say goodbye properly but all of his stuff is sorted which makes me feel good because then i can send him off knowing that he has everything that he needs and he can just go and enjoy himself which is like just my primary focus really and i made the bed <laughs> thank god <laughs> with some help and hoovered everywhere so that's all ready for later and now the only thing that is left for me to do is pour myself a glass of wine and decide what takeaway we're having but i hope that you enjoyed this video this is just the way i do it i love finishing at this point on a friday around the kids i know it's not easy it's not fun at all really but i love knowing that like everything is in a really decent state for the weekend or whatever day ahead it might be um it just takes the pressure off i love knowing that like I've not just got a cycle of things to do every single day um, and it makes me happy and it's a good feeling. Uh, so I hope you found it useful and insightful. If you do completely the same or completely opposite or somewhere in between, that is absolutely amazing too. That's not what this video is about. Um, but yeah, have an amazing rest of your day, whatever you're up to. And I will hopefully see you all very, very soon.